Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the CFA test tomorrow. And this is the calculator and that I'm going to use the BA2 uh, plus from Texas Instrument. Um, and I think this is probably one of the most popular uh, and maybe there are only two or three uh, qualified calculators that you can bring to the test. Um, so I have bought this calculator for half a year and I have never changed the battery. Uh, when you read the CFA um, policy, I think it's allowed for you to bring a backup uh, calculator, which I don't have the extra money. Um, and they say you can also bring your screwdriver um, and uh, actually I don't know it doesn't look like very easy you can just take a um, right double A or triple A battery um, so um, why not take the risk right so I did some research and they said um, the battery is 2032 like this right and actually I'm just going to change the battery today so I don't have to bring all those extra gears right if you're gonna head down to a, a long road trip change your tire don't wait for it um, to wear out right so um, this video will show you how to open the battery and uh, actually I have never done this before uh, so wish me the best luck right so as you can see first this battery is uh, this is working right and uh, it's my old battery so let's do this um, so in the back we have four um, kind of screws that we need to remove those are small ones so in that case I happen to have lots of gears at home and I will just use the small screwdriver um, and I think if you have any other equivalent tools uh, feel free to use it and uh, now let's open it mm. oh, it's actually not too hard right and you can see it's really, really small screw and uh, lose a screw or break your calculator is the least thing that you want to do, right? And uh, let's keep doing it. So this should not be rocket science, but at least hopefully this video will be helpful to someone who maybe have never open up a calculator or any electronic devices before. Um, okay, so four screws, right? And now let's open it. Oh, maybe I should, okay. This is pretty tight. Mm, let's see, don't break it. Don't break it. Okay, let's see. Usually you can use some um, like uh, with a, a screwdriver with a flat hat to help you open it. But sometimes while I was in college, I have made pretty of pretty. I was a significant amount of trouble by doing this, but I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Actually, you can just push the other end, and it looks like now I'm halfway there, right? See, it's like halfway open. Right. And, uh, uh, now you see it's halfway open. Let's open the top, and as you can see, somehow I accidentally open it. So don't operate with electronic devices when it's powered on, even if it's a small. It has a small battery like this. So this is our um, calculator open, right? The PCB board looks pretty clean. And this is the baby that we need to replace, right? As you can see, um, the battery that I bought is uh, from the grocery store Energizer 2032. Is actually pretty expensive. I think uh, a few bucks, like seven dollars for two batteries. And uh, as you can see, they have similar size, right? Actually, it should be the same size. If you go to the wrong battery, don't even bother. Um, so now let's take this out. And uh, as you can see, it's not very 
easy. There is a clip here, we need to open it, and we probably slide the battery this way. And here, I have a fat finger, and I'm gonna use this too to push the battery out. So wish me the luck. Um, so as you can see, let's see if this will work. Okay, let me hold. Let me hold this in first to open the clip, right? Open the gate. And push. Push, right? So you see the gate is opened and the battery is on its way out. Just push. And uh, be really careful. The, the screwdriver could be really sharp, so don't scratch the PCB board. If you break your calculator the day before the exam, well, I wish you the good luck. I don't think Amazon can even de deliver that in five days or six days. Now I take that out. This is the old battery. This is the new battery. And let's put the new battery in. So um, now I put it in here. Push. And uh, now, as uh, you can see, I push that in. And here the gate is closed, right? So let's turn over and before we close uh, the calculator, first power that on, power that off, just to test your calculator, it's still working, right? Let's do some math, right? Let's do some rocket science, one plus one equals two, plus one equals to three, so it's working, right? So now we just need to put this together, um, and uh, let's see. Right. Okay. I mean, it feels like I'm gonna break it, but I think it's actually brute force is probably the best way to go. You can hear the clip, the sound of a clip, and now things are one piece, right? See, things are one piece. The last step is to put on the four screws. So when you do this project, that keep in mind, I think when you do any project, keep in mind like keep the operation clean, right? Like if you do the, if you have lots of books, lots of papers, lots of tools, right? Don't don't lose it. Don't lose it. Keep that in a clean place. And uh, and that should be it. One more. Okay. Pretty small. Okay. All right. Now this is the old battery. I'm not go going to throw that away. I only replace replace you because I don't know if you might fail tomorrow, right? But I think you might be a still good battery. I can use you later. And now I'm pretty positive this calculator can run for another half a year so um, good luck to everyone's test and uh, um, i'll talk to you later bye